look at a division of fractions. Division of fractions is somewhat different because when you divide by a fraction, you are probably going to end up with a larger number than you started with. Looking at the example of 4 divided by 1 fourth means I have 4 somethings. Think of $4. And they're asking how many 1 fourths or how many quarters are in that $4. So thinking of $1, if I split it into quarters, I got 4 there. The second dollar, I got 4 there. The third dollar, same thing, 4 there. And then four there. So adding these pieces up, say that I have 16 quarters inside that four. Now let's use the rule to find this so I don't have to draw pictures all the time. The first rule is that I have to change everything to an improper fraction. So the four, the whole number four, goes over one. Now I know that one into four goes four, so I have not changed the value at all. What I have now is 4 over 1 divided by 1 over 4. Now what I do is the number on the right, if I flip that over, this is called the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4 over 1. I take the original number and I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. Remembering from your multiplication, multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, and reduce. That tells me there are 16 quarters inside that 4. Now this one I have the whole number on the right side rather than the left side. So what this is right now, changing it improper, I have 9 over 1. So this then becomes 6 sevenths, leave the first one alone always, and flip the second one, or the one on the right, over so that you are multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, remember now I'm going to multiply. The rules of multiplication are, if you can, do some simplifying. I know that 3 goes into the 6 two times. I know 3 goes into the 9 three times. Now multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, and if you can, you will have to reduce. Okay, again, I have to go improper first. 6 times 1 plus 1 gives me 7 6. The 1 third at this point I am still dividing, so I have not inverted it, which means I need to copy this over one more time. So I've got 7 6 times the reciprocal. I have now inverted the one-third to three over one. Doing a little bit of reducing, three goes into three once, three goes into six twice. We've got seven times one is seven, two times one is two. By multiplying the tops, multiplying the bottoms, this needs to be reduced. Two goes into seven, let me write it out, 2 goes into 7 three times with 1 left over. 1 is the top of the fraction. 2 becomes the bottom of the fraction. So 3 and 1 half is my answer. Okay, what if I have two mixed numbers? I have to change both of them to improper fractions. So 2 times 2 plus 1 gives me 5 over 2. This is still a division. I have not flipped it over yet. So I've got 8 times 1 plus 7 is 15 over 8. Okay, I now have a top and a bottom, top and a bottom, so now I'm ready to flip it over. I leave the first one alone, change it to a times, and flip the second one over so I can multiply by the reciprocal. I have a little bit of canceling I can do here. 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 15 three times. Ooh, a little bit more. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 8 four times. Okay, multiplying the tops, multiplying the bottoms. So now I've got 3 goes into 4 one time with 1 left over to give me 1 and 1 third as my answer.